So, I was watching King Arthur last night and decided to do a little modeling. I've been making uh, caps for the extruders. Basically, this sits on top of the bolt in the middle of the motor and spins around as it extrudes. Um, and that's how I came up with this guy. It's just about done printing. Let me show it to you real quick. Now, I printed it in thermochromic filament, so the color is still settling in. Let's see if we can get it off the bed here. There we go. And we will remove some of this once we get back over to our table. All right, and we are back. We are going to clip away all of this port here. There's not a ton of it, but a fair amount. You can see the model still not quite all the way cooled down yet at the bottom where it was on the bed there. I'm hesitant to just manhandle it because I always end up breaking stuff when I do that. So I got my clippers here and I'm just going to take off real gently what I can. Yeah, it's not so bad if I just kind of peel it in strips. Also don't want to damage the actual model itself so let's see if we can get this strip up and away there's part of it there we go and there we have part of our blade little bit of a wiring there from uh, the support failure but that's okay we'll clip that off it'll be fine this last little bits being stubborn but it should come off as well Almost there. Uh, you can see the basic shape of my Excalibur here. There's a little piece up in here I want to get rid of. Yeah, I need a little cleanup too. And on this side as well, I'm actually surprised that around this little gem here that those two pieces were the only support that it gave me, but everything came out pretty well. The circle is round. Everything seems to be right. And again, I sliced this in Fusion 360 where I modeled it. Um, and I was just kind of killing time while I was watching a movie. Couldn't sleep. So decided to do a little work and there is the gist of it here I need to get the uh, back part off here so there we go now we're talking you can see the models completely cooled down now and it is a, I guess you'd say pink. It's not really red. Um, this filament is called red by the manufacturer. This is uh, MG Chemicals again. And they're thermochromic. Really nice filament. But I wouldn't really call it a red. Magenta? That's another Blue's Clues reference, huh? All right, we got most of this cleaned up here. Get her all wrapped up. Sometimes the cleaning, this is the mon most monotonous part. It's 
easy to want to rush through it, but you'll be much happier if you slow down, and take your time, kind of Bob Ross it. Except we don't want any happy accidents because it's hard to turn them into birds. Let's see if we can get this last little bit out of here without breaking it. come out. Okay, there we go. And that looks to be pretty much it. And there you have it. So that is uh, the sword and the stone. We're going to put that on this printer back here. And there you have it. Not bad for something that I knocked up while hanging out watching a movie. I think it looks pretty cool. You can actually still see it in the background back there spinning away. And I really, really like it. I hope you guys like it too. It is up on Thingiverse. You can download it at the link below. So feel free to print yourself one, mod it, take a picture, send it back to me, show me what you're working on. There are a ton of things that I've seen people do with these knobs, including one that I saw yesterday actually that uh, pushed two pistons and was held to the frame so as it moved it made it look like the pistons were moving um, that was actually on a prusa on the motor that was mounted to the x-axis so as it went up and down basically the pistons looked like they were firing it was pretty cool um, and i'm probably going to do a couple more of these just because it's a fun thing to tinker with and adds a little flair to the machine if you like this one don't forget to leave a like on this video Hit that subscribe button to catch future videos, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.